I'm a right-wing guy, but I believe in free speech for left-wingers too. That's the thing about free speech. It's a gift you have to give to your political opponents if you want it for yourself. It's one of the reasons why, even though I'm Jewish, I support freedom of speech for Holocaust deniers. I mean, I find their views odious and anti-Semitic, but you shouldn't be criminalized for having the wrong views. In a free country, you have the right to be wrong. That's why I support Penn Canada, the free press organization. I've been a member of theirs for some years now. They're run by liberals, but in the best meaning of that word, people who believe in liberty. I don't always agree with their politics on other things, like Margaret Atwood or even John Ralston Saul, but that's my point. We're together on freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Everything else is irrelevant. And I can't tell you how much it meant to me today to learn that Penn Canada has issued a statement about the Law Society prosecution of me scheduled for this October in Alberta. As you know, I'm being prosecuted by the Law Society for being, quote, discourteous and disrespectful to the Alberta Human Rights Commission, a government agency. One of their beefs with me was that I wrote a column in the Sun newspapers calling the Human Rights Commission crazy. Seriously, that's one of the things I'm being prosecuted for. For my longer explanation of the prosecution, you can click here or visit standwithezra.ca. Anyways, I was so happy to see Penn Canada take a stand on the subject today. It literally made me feel a foot taller. Here, let me read a bit of their statement to you. Quote, Without taking a position on Mr. Levant's criticisms of the Alberta HRC, the Human Rights Commission, Penn upholds his right to fair comment on a matter of public interest. Sanctions would establish a regrettable precedent and impose expressive chill on other members of the bar who could face similar disciplinary measures even when not acting in a legal capacity." Unquote. I tell you, reading that put the wind in my sails. I think it's precisely because I know that most pen organizers are to the left of me. I think they're correct on this. They don't have to agree with me on the substance of my column to defend my legal right to publish it. Here's another interesting point they raised. Uh, I'm being prosecuted by the Law Society because I'm a lawyer. Even though I haven't practiced law in years, I'm inactive. But here's what Penn wrote, which I thought was interesting. Quote, Canadians must have the right to make informed comment on matters of public interest without being afraid that they will be threatened with professional sanctions for their personal opinions, unquote. Said Elise Moser, chair of Penn Canada's Canadian Issues Committee, quote, we wouldn't censure an engineer who criticized public works projects or a doctor who found fault with the healthcare system why should a lawyer criticizing a human rights commission be held to a different standard, unquote? Those are good points. I don't think my comments were as acute as a whistleblowing doctor or engineer. My comments are not going to save a life, but I made my comments on a subject in the public interest, these human rights commissions, and I made them in a newspaper editorial, for crying out loud. Anyways, the other week I called out groups like the Canadian Civil Liberties Association and Canadian Journalists for Freedom of Expression. Those groups have been completely silent on my case. What a pleasure to have Pan Canada prove to me that true liberals still exist in Canada. People who believe in liberty, even for right-wing rabble-rousers like me. If you want to learn more about my case or to chip into my legal defense fund, please visit standwithezra.ca.